nice to see you. It's nice to see you this morning. It's great to be at this blue conference. It is excellent, isn't it? It is. It is. Well, I just have a few questions for you today. Sure. Thank you for making the time. My pleasure. Um, the first question I have is, with your new book, Shooting in the Wild, recently right. being published, right. I wanted to know what drove you to write the book and how it's been received. Well, it's been received. It's, it's a controversial book. It, it, it criticizes programs from National Geographic and Discovery and Animal Planet, and so people's oxes have been gored, and so there is some controversy about it. On the other hand, there are many people who are so pleased that at last someone inside is telling the truth about what's going on in these films and talking about audience deception, animal harassment, and whether these films actually do have an impact on conservation. So um, the book is, I think, a fair, on my own view, as you know, obviously prejudice on the author, but I think that the um, book is balanced. It, it gives both sides, but it does pull back the curtain on, on, the, on the wildlife filmmaking industry to show the dark side of this, of what's going on in terms of manipulation, staging, audience deception, uh, fraudulent uh, activities, and so on. And uh, animal harassment, and so, um, so that, so, uh, so that's what the book's about. Well, how outspoken do you want to be, and do you find yourself becoming a target of the news and other individuals looking to poke holes at you? Yes. Well, you know, whenever you, whenever you stick your neck out, uh, and and uh, you're going to get, you're going to get, uh, uh, get it's people going to hit back. And this is, this is fair enough. This is, a, this is democracy. This is a healthy society. Um, where it's good, I think, that these issues be raised and discussed. Um, I think uh, all this is good and healthy, and I'm, I'm, uh, um, and I'm, um, uh, it's fair for people to, uh, to resist, to um, push back on, on my message. I mean, that's natural. Um, the, bit television is a money-make-driven business, and so um, anything which, uh, which could threaten that money-making thrust is 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 going to is going to upset people, and my book is 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 challenging the sort of the, the way things are made. What type of marketing plan do you have in place to increase sales for the book or to gain exposure? I'm giving I'm going all around the country giving talks about it. I'm on radio and television uh, a lot. The Washington Post is going to do a front page story in the Star section in the next couple of weeks. ABC Nightline is doing a big story about it. I'm launching a campaign across the country to get people to talk about these issues, to talk about it, conservation and film, how these things re relate, and, um, the, and all the issues raised in my book about um, unethical filmmaking practices. I'm launching a campaign to make that a public debate. Is social media a part of this campaign? Me, me, absolutely true. I'm using Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and all these. Yeah, ad, social media is a critically important part of it. In fact, you can't do anything nowadays, seriously, unless you use social media. It's becoming such an influential part of communications. Very true. Um, well, having produced hundreds of hours of film for television and IMAX, um, what's your opinion of these short online videos that have changed the user experience, and what, what do you find as the pros and cons of this format? Well, they're very important. I mean, they're incredibly important. Um, I expect you remember Battle of Kruger. It's a seven-minute uh, tape shot by a tourist, in, in, uh, uh, and, and First National Geographic didn't want it. They turned it down. They didn't want to buy it because they thought, Who's to, who wants to watch that? That poor, that poor quality footage. Then they saw the numbers mounting, um, and up to you know, and so uh, suddenly, Geographic wanted to buy it. And so I think I think um, the this is revolutionising how we are thinking about communications. And so these two minute videos on YouTube, and so I think are very important. What what what's going to happen is that we need to produce a diverse set of programs. We need to have expensive IMAX films. We need we need to have. You know, HD and theatrical movies. We need also to have these inexpensive uh, uh, YouTube movie uh, things done for t uh, two minute ones done very cheaply. We need all of that because the audience is so diverse and, and different. Some people need the, ex the fancy stuff, other people need the less. You know, the, the demand is very diverse, and so we need to meet all those needs at the same time because people are different. Different say stages of you know some people are hostile to environmental protection, other people are very enthusiastic about it. Most of us are in the sort of in the middle there, and so all these different uh, ways of communicating are uh, are helpful to different people on that spectrum. So they're all important. And last question: um, How has your experience been at the Blue Festival? 
And, and what types of people have you met and what kinds it's of things? It's been a wonderful experience, Amy. It's been a wonderful experience. I mean, there are fantastic people here. There are writers and poets and artists and, and, and producers like yourself and communicators, people who are devoted uh, to the ocean, to ocean conservation. Um, it's been a wonderful experience. I think there are probably three or four hundred of us here. I don't, I don't know exactly how many delegates there are, but it's a wonderful group of people, all of us sharing a shared value in protecting the oceans. And, and so we've all come together as a, as a community to think about ways in which we can do a better job of protecting the oceans. It's a wonderful experience. I urge people to come, and, come and to next year's uh, conference. I've really loved it. Excellent. Thank you so it's much. It's a pleasure. It's always Thank a you. pleasure. Thank you for interviewing me. Thank you, Chris.